We're about 20 minutes into our hike for the day, and uh, we, of course, encountered gringo killers again right away. Um, I didn't film the steepest part we've had so far, because I likely would have fallen backwards with the added weight of the camera and if I just stopped with momentum, but this gives you an idea of what we've got for the next few hours. And a sheer cliff face. And a sheer cliff face. And we smell. <laughs> The camp where we started today about 40 minutes ago. And then we came all the way up to these ruins. And there's no water up here really, so apparently these people built reservoirs, false man made lakes on either side of these passes. And we're going to be there in about half an hour. You can see the cloud rising up from the rock there, it's beautiful. But we have to keep going. The path is really thin and sharp, and there's people coming up behind us, so we gotta move. And this appears to be one of the man-made reservoirs that they had filled with water. And we've just come up and over our second pass of the trail. And we go down from here. And we've come down from way up in the mountains, which can be murder on the knees. We're now back in the jungle, coming up to some more Inca ruins. They say that this third day you see the most ruins. And lo and behold. Can't do a lot of walking and filming on this day three of our Inca Trail, mostly because we're up in the cloud jungle, so it's really foggy, um, so you can't see how far down it is, but there's basically sheer cliff on one side of us down into the jungle, and you really have to watch your footing as well. Um, but it's lovely because it's not as hot as the last couple of days, and the sun is obviously behind lots of thick cloud, and uh, we should be at our camp in about two and a half hours. And I'm then up there. But I've got to watch where I'm putting my feet a little bit. I'm never going to forget the sound of wooden doweling on rock. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling on day three, guys? Uh, fantastic, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been challenging, but compared to yesterday, yeah. it's uh, not quite a walk in the park, but much easier. They were we telling us. What? Oh, I was going to say, we got it written. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And they were saying at lunch that we had about four hours of hiking ahead of us. Uh, lunch was about 40 minutes ago, and our guide has reevaluated that and said that uh, once we reach the pass, which we should do in about five minutes here, we've only got about two hours ahead of us. So that's great. So I'm going to turn this off. Looks like I have to clean the lens as well. It's, there's just cloud everywhere. It doesn't feel like rain, but it feels like a very light yeah. mist, mist everywhere. Yeah, yeah so. The dust to the humidity. Yeah. And we reached our third and final summit. We are at 36 
And before our day is over, we've got to get down to like 28 or something. So we've got about two more hours to go, and we we're supposed to be able to see Mount Veronica and a couple of other mountains, but as I mentioned earlier, we are in the middle of a cloud. And some more gringo killers, this time on the way down. The camera does not do this angle justice. And from the bottom. And yes, they keep going. And some more ruins along the way. Very cloudy day. I hope that this is coming through on camera. Really beautiful. And let me just take you along this other side as well. You know, it looks like nothing but cloud, but it's really very We're out of the clouds. And this is at Antipata. We're at the bottom of it. We started at the top and we worked our way down. And this is a place where they did most of the farming for Machu Picchu. And those steps are steep. Very steep. Way to go. How's day three been, Steve? Day three, well, first of all, day three has been awesome. I, we were really in our groove. I think we mentioned that before as we were coming through the, through the jungle. Uh, and everything's working really, really, really well. Um, it's fantastic sights. I mean, we just moved from from uh, archaeological site to archaeological site. But now, we are on our way to camp. We are about 20 minutes out. And our camp for the night is yeah, step. down there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's right, in the park. There's hopefully a Cereso waiting for us. And a shower. And a shower. So off we go. Vamos.